on my way to the shop. My shop is pretty much just around the corner from where we live. But I usually take the pickup because I'm usually lazy, right? And I'm always preaching everybody, oh, you should get out of your truck and walk, park at the back of the truck stops. It's just better for me if I walk. It's not too far. But while the weather is still nice, I figure why not? It takes a lot longer than driving, obviously. It's like a two minute drive. But I'm trying to practice what I preach here. Getting more active. I've been growing in, in the wrong direction. Need to put that to a stop, bring it to an end. I don't know why I haven't done that before, but I'm gonna do that a lot more often. It's really not that far of a walk. I've just gotten so used to, you know, this is North America, this is Canada. We drive everywhere. <laughs> I gotta learn to walk. So that felt really good. So I'm here now to do a little bit of work on the truck. One of my marker lights on top of my cab, the front row, one of them has a loose connection. It's working right now, but last time I parked it in my shop, it was out. And then it was sort of flickering on and off. PBX did a great job fixing most of the little things that needed to be fixed recently. I also need to wash this thing still. I told you I was going to do that the other day, didn't I? I didn't lie, I promise, because I was intending on actually washing the truck. My intentions were pure. But uh, that light up there, I'll show you in a minute. These are my new mirrors that got installed. Where are my keys? Ah, to die in there. Just gotta wake her up for you. Hey, old blue. Old blue, I got some friends here for you. You wanna show off your lights a little bit? There you go. Okay, so my mirror lights, those are new now. Incandescent bulbs though, those need to be switched to LEDs. My bad, my bad. We got this side here as well, working beautifully. And a uh, whole bunch of other things. I have a new starter under the hood. I'll show you in a second here. If you guys don't mind, it's kind of a heavy hood. Would you give me a hand? Just put your hand right up here, just like this. We're gonna put our foot down here, okay? Everybody pull. Yeah, pull harder, guys. Come on, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, thank, thank God you guys are so strong. Okay. Just enough room. Thanks for your help, I appreciate that. So we need to get up there. That left center one, I guess it'd be the right center, passenger side center, has a loose connection and needs to be uh, looked at. The starters on these Cummins is in here, right down there. Let me grab my flashlight for you so we can all see what I'm talking about. Phones, right? What can they not do? They can predict the future inaccurately through weather forecasts. They can calculate things. You know, my teacher in school always said, you won't always have a calculator with you. You got to learn how to do it in your head. <laughs> they were wrong. They always told me you got to carry a flashlight with you because you won't always have a flashlight. They were wrong. This fly wants to die. Extreme situations. This, the flies are really bad in here and I got really tired of it. So I got an electric fly swatter. You want to see this thing? Sidetrack, rabbit trail. Come with me. This thing's pretty cool. I'll just turn this flashlight off here for a second. Phones have everything. Access to a world of knowledge. All the knowledge in the world, except for the top secret stuff that governments hide from us, like the aliens. It's all in here. This is my fly swatter. You want to see something cool? Watch me. You watching? Check this out. Don't mess with me. I'll zap you. <laughs> right? Now that I got the kids laughing, maybe, or shaking their heads. Don't turn away from my video, please. There's more. I'm a new dad, okay? I'm not even a dad yet. I'm trying. Got my dad jokes all lined up. I'm practicing on you guys, okay? I've got six months. Six months to practice. Hey, have you guys seen my newest addition to my shop wall? 
I got gifted this bike from one of my viewers in Australia. Thank you very much. It's on my wall. I can't hang every flag of the world on my walls. So I, I, I don't want to... I don't want you guys to all start sending flags to me and expect me to hang them up in here. I would love to hang them all up in here. Believe me, I would. I love flags. I used to have a huge collection of flags. I got rid of a lot of them when we downsized and moved into our smaller house, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm building it back up. But uh, I'm going to have the uh, prominent members of the Commonwealth in here as well. That there, who knows? I've never seen that flag before. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's our... Uh, flag of our wonderful neighbors to the south, United States. Thank you for all you do for us and uh, thank you for keeping the peace. Really appreciate it because I don't like war. It's really nice being next door to you guys. Thank you. That flag right there is the flag of my province of Manitoba. That's where I live in Canada. It's sort of like a state flag if you're American. Manitoba has the Union Jack up in the corner and then the, the crest of Manitoba right there. The English flag up above it, the buffalo beneath it. The buffalo, or pardon me, the bison. It's not a buffalo, it's a bison. It's the symbol of Manitoba. It's also the symbol of our neighbors in the US, North Dakota. Same region, exactly same area. One is under that flag, one is under that flag. But we're all under the flag of friendship, right? Okay, here we go. This I'm actually going to be replacing. This is the flag of the greatest hockey team ever to uh, hit the ice, the Winnipeg Jets. We're a very kind-hearted team, and we've allowed pretty much everyone else to take home the Stanley Cup before us. It's because we want to see others happy. And, uh, you know, in the spirit of giving, we have allowed everyone else to take home the Stanley Cup. But soon, our uh, kindness will run out, and the Stanley Cup will come home to where it belongs, in Winnipeg. I'm going to actually be uh, taking this flag down. I'm going to be putting it somewhere else. The Union Jack, which you see in the top left corner there, the flag of the UK, is going to go there. So that we have all of our closest friends right here. you got Canada, you got the US. You'll, you'll have the UK down there. We have Australia. And on the other side over here, in that empty space right there, that spot right there, is reserved for New Zealand. I have the flag on the way. Uh, the UK flag, the New Zealand flag, is on the way. Uh, I also ordered a uh, Canadian red ensign, which is the first, well, the original flag of Canada. It's pretty much exactly like this, Union Jack in the top left, the red background with the Canadian crest. Uh, is it the Canadian royal crest? I'll have to show you when it comes in, but it's the original flag of Canada. It, it, it'll be the flag that we uh, fought under in World War II and won. It's very similar to this. This flag is sort of modeled after our original flag before we got the maple leaf flag. So yeah, um, that's pretty much, I guess I could start going up here a little more, including flags and stuff up there, and I will. I was thinking of ordering a flag of the Commonwealth. The British Commonwealth has its own flag. I was thinking of like putting it up there, but, uh, or the Royal flag of Canada uh, for His Majesty the King. He has his own flag in Canada here. It's different than the royal flag of the UK. I think England and Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales all have their own version of the royal flag. I think it's the royal standard. Canada also has a royal standard. I was thinking of putting it up there, but then I realized that would be very inappropriate because the royal standard is never displayed unless the king or queen in this case, the king is present. As much as I like to think so, I'm not the king. So, <laughs> in this shop, I'm the king. But there's a king over me yet, and there's a king over him yet. If I would fly the royal standard in here, I didn't think it would be appropriate because uh, the king's not here. Now, if His Majesty King Charles III were to come and visit my shop here, he's always welcome to come and visit. I hope he gives me warning so I can clean up a little bit. Uh, if he were to be in the shop, then it would be appropriate to fly the royal standard because that means the king is present. See what I mean? I'm a nerd. I know, I got glasses and everything now. I'm a nerd. I realize that. You guys are all laughing at me, but this is who I am. Um, this vlog is about my life. I hope you like it. If you do, subscribe. If you think I'm weird, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. Uh, the overall message is please subscribe. I need friends. Yeah, that's that. Let's, uh, oh, yes.
the starter. Almost forgot. One more thing. This thing has a light. I don't know if you noticed it or not. Turn it on. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to zap myself. Oh, hey, oh, oh. turn it on. Turn it, turn it on. Ah, oh, there we go. See, and it's it's a swatter. You can like stretch it out like I had it, and it's a swatter. Where you put it down like this, it has a little LED light in here, and it attracts the flies towards it. And they think they're coming in for a nice cozy place to land. Ooh, so nice. And blah! No more flies. Okay, this is what we were gonna show you. All joking aside, let's get serious now, okay? Let's get serious. My uh, starter is down there. It's easier to see it from the bottom here. That's my new starter right there. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, so that was the main reason I uh, brought it into the shop. And uh, they said my hood cables were frayed. A oh, they are. They are pretty bad over there. Okay, yeah. Gotta be careful because we don't want these uh, to snap. Oh yeah, they're frayed over there pretty bad as well. Okay, those are on order. They're gonna be installed next time I'm home or uh, next time I bring it in for a service. <sighs> what else did they do? They, uh, oh, my heated mirrors weren't working. They fixed my, my heated mirrors. If you're from a tropical climate, you may be like, what? A heated mirror? What's a heated mirror? A uh, heated mirror is exactly what it sounds like. It's a mirror that is heated. No, it doesn't get really hot, but in wintertime here in Canada and in northern climates, uh, what, what happens is you can get a frost over your, over your mirror here, right? It freezes up and then your mirror is useless. You can't see anything and the mirror that you can't see anything in is not helpful. So these are both heated, this one here and the wire is also going in the back there into here. So I push a little button actually right in here. When the key is on, that light lights up and both sides of the mirror actually, uh, they warm up. It's not like they get hot. They don't get hot to the touch, but they get warm enough that they melt the frost and the ice off of it <clears throat> so that you can use them in the wintertime. So that got fixed. Uh, my beacons got fixed. I wonder if they'll work without the key on or if I'm gonna put the key on in here. Oh no, there we go. See, that driver's side beacon wasn't working. Now they're both working. See? And I've read your comments, okay? Before you go and comment the same thing again, I have read your comments. You say, oh, you save a lot of money, Trucker Josh, if you just do these things yourself. I totally agree with you. I am 100% on your side. These are the kind of things I would like to do on my own. I was only expecting to be home for like a little bit of a long weekend, and it was my anniversary weekend last weekend, and I didn't think I'd have the time to get all of this done. It turns out, I, I probably would have had the time, but uh, since I, you can't see the future, right? Even the weather guy can't see the future. Mm -hmm. That's his job. You can't see the future and uh, I figured I didn't have time. So I just got PBX to do everything. I, I brought it in there for the, the starter, all these other little things. We got it done. That's what's important. So all the, the truck's ready to go again. I'll be leaving uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday. I have a load in Carmen, Manitoba. That's going to be uh, going to Wapton, North Dakota. Or Wapton, Wapton, Wapton. North Dakota. Uh, I got one per day. It's about 430, 450 kilometers, four and a half hours of driving down. I'll unload, I drive back, sleep at the customer the next morning, get loaded again, go back, do it again, five times back and forth. It's gonna be a pretty good week, a pretty good week for me. It's gonna be a good run. So it'll make up for this week somewhat. And besides, you can't really put a price on home time. Uh, yeah, it wasn't expected, but we'll just uh, mark her down as a, a, an unscheduled holiday and go from there. I had a, it was nice being at home, spending time with the wife and uh, baby on the way. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to be a dad. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. So yeah, I'm going to start working on this. I got to figure out how to get up there. So we got that marker light uh, fixed up. I bought this hose recently. Look how short it looks, right? It goes behind the bar over there. Just 
just over here. It's actually a hundred foot hose. You wanna see something cool? Watch, watch, okay? It's actually cooler if I like roll it up like a little snake. This is one of those expandable hoses. Those of you who have seen this before already know what I'm talking about. I have to sweep this out, this is terrible. Okay, we're just gonna put this all down here. This hose does not kink up, it doesn't mess up. I'm gonna go turn it on over here. Watch this. Watch it. A little bit creepy, right? See that? <coughs> Excuse me. See, so it expands out to 100 feet from 30 feet. How cool is that? It's a water hose. I use it to wash the truck. This way I can get my truck out of the shop, wash it outside, use one hose to go all the way around it, and then when I'm done, I just release the pressure in the hose, it shrinks back up to 30 feet. I roll it up back there. I don't always get things right, but I got this thing right. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. So yeah, that marker light, uh, the, bulb, the bulb itself, it's an LED marker light. It's gonna have to be replaced. There were some wires that weren't connecting properly. I replaced those wires, so it's connecting properly now. It's always gonna be on, but it's dimmer than all the rest, which means that the light itself is gonna have to be replaced eventually. It's doing its job right now, but it's bothering me because it's, it's dimmer than the rest. Not allowed. We have to have uniformity. We have to have unity. Everyone has to shine the same, right? I'm gonna wash the truck now anyways, wash it down, and then uh, and walk home. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the shop floor has to be reasonably clean all the time. Before I leave on my next trip, I'm probably gonna rinse the truck off in here. And then I use the water that comes off of the rinse on the ground and I squeegee it out of here. And then this floor is a nice, beautiful, it's got a nice, beautiful, clean shine to it. But for now, this is good. I mean, it's at least get all the grit out of here. to head out on our next trip looking forward to it if you keep your eyes open up on i-29 and highway 75 this week i'm gonna be going up and down that highway back and forth all week monday to friday so if you see me hang off your air horn for me would you or try to get me on the cb i'll have my cb on i messed up guys I got halfway home and I realized that I had dropped my keys or my key ring. These things. Somewhere along the way. Not all my keys, but you know, most, I thought I had dropped some of them or most of them. I didn't know which ones I had dropped. So I turned around, I went all the way back. Turns out they had fallen out of my pocket just as I had left the shop. Literally 50 paces from the shop. Probably less than that, 25 paces. I was halfway back, I walked all the way back. And it's about a three kilometer or two mile walk to the shop. And I was halfway there, so one mile. I walked one mile out, realized I had dropped something, and then uh, walked the mile back, found out where I had dropped them, picked them up, found out it was nothing of significance. It was literally just this thing without the keys on it. Just this thing. So it's a big waste of time, but I had I didn't know what I had dropped. Found it. 
got an extra two miles in my walk to go home it was usually just a two mile walk now it's a four mile walk home i've got blisters on my feet but it's okay we're doing good we're doing good how fast do you have to be going to need a spoiler that big right oh i'm almost home about another half mile a two mile walk turned into about a i'm about three and a half miles in so two mile walk home turned into a four mile walk home but i'm okay this is good i'm fat i need this brit offered to come pick me up and i declined i said you know what? no i need this it's okay got blisters on my feet but that's okay my feet have got to get used to moving more right i'll be okay i'll be okay we're just gonna fast forward real quick to the next morning <laughs> sunday morning i was pretty beat when i got home uh, i could definitely tell i haven't done a good walk in a while and uh <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to have blisters on the bottom of my feet this morning. No, I, I, re I got a really good sleep because uh, I'm trying to enjoy my sleep while I can. Because once the baby's here, I understand I'm not going to get very much sleep at all. But uh, I got a really good sleep this last night. And I feel fine. I feel great today, actually. Like, really good. And that's how it usually goes, right? When you get some exercise in, you get moving. It makes you feel better. Like, mentally, physically... That's why I want to get back in this habit. Back in uh, 2017, uh, we got married. And I wanted to lose a lot of weight for our wedding, and I succeeded in that. I think I lost like 30 pounds. I gained it all back, plus a little bit, but uh, <laughs> since then. But I made a goal that year, and I stuck to it. I walked three miles every day. For the most part, like almost every day, three miles. Wherever I was, I would just stop somewhere. If I was at a truck stop or a rest area, I'd have a little app that would track how far I had walked. And I would just walk go 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 and I remember how awesome I felt all the time but it's hard to get back into that habit once it's a habit it's easier but anyways I got back home and uh, I was pretty sore I was sore I could uh, I could hardly stay on my feet that's how bad it's gotten but I did honestly think I would feel a lot more sore today you know it hasn't gotten that bad yet so we're gonna do it again and do it again I'm gonna try to walk I, I really want to walk five kilometers or three miles a day again I keep saying that, I've been saying that all summer, and I know that I haven't been following through on that. And, you know, I'm gonna keep saying it, keep saying it publicly, keep saying it here online, because then people hold me accountable, you know? When when people realize that I'm not following through with what I said I was gonna do, they start calling me out. And that's good, that's good. Hold me accountable. I wanna try to lose this weight before baby comes, so I have six months. I don't want to be a big fat dad. I don't want to be a lazy, uh, I, I want to be a dad that they're proud to introduce to their friends or pr proud to bring their friends over and say, that's my dad, you know? I want to be able to throw a ball around with them. If they want to play baseball, if they want to play hockey, I want to be able to get on the ice with them. We're starting our family a little later in life. So I'm gonna be 35 when this baby's born or very near to it. Which means, you know, I'm going to be in my 40s by the time they probably really get into sports. And I don't want to be that dad that can't keep up or can't play with them because I'm too out of shape and I'm too unhealthy. I want to get myself in shape and I want to set that example for them so that they also get into the routine of staying staying healthy, staying fit. Because it's not fun being overweight like, like me. Technically, I'm overweight. I know it's not that bad yet, but it's, it's not fun. You know, you get out of breath everywhere you go. You can't run very far. I'd love to be able to run, like, for miles. That'd be great. I don't know if I'll get that far. I hope so. But that's my goal anyway, so uh, we'll see what we can do. I want to uh, I want to really push myself. And uh, yesterday was a good start. In, in total, I think I walked... So I walked two and a half kilometers there. Five six kilometers back because i have to go back and forth a little bit i walked like eight and a half almost nine kilometers so i walked over five miles yesterday 
<laughs> my body was like, whoa, there, cowboy, let's slow down, let's start a little slower, but nope. That's, that's what we're going to do. We'll keep pushing ourselves. So anyways, have a good day, everybody. Uh, the next video will be out tomorrow. Today for me, tomorrow for you. We are headed out on a trip. I'm getting back in the truck finally. I think, uh, I think it's going to feel good to get behind the wheel again. So we'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe.